you are feeling guilty about something that people think that you did not do. You are losing sleep. You are tossing and turning. You are focused on what these people think that you did, that you did not do. Let me say this, Galatians chapter 1, verse 10, and it says, For, for do I now persuade man or God, or do I seek to please man? For if I still please man, I would not be a, a servant of Christ. So if you are still trying to please people, and the thing is, is that these people you're trying to please, these people that you, they think you did something and you did not, which means that's almost like torture. You're torturing your mind, and this is not but Satan. Satan is the accuser. Satan is trying to take you down by lies in your mind. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee. Bring all those thoughts down into captivity of the obedience of Christ. The enemy is trying to persuade you into something you didn't even do. And the thing is, is that it says in Romans 8 and 1, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation, absolutely none. And they're trying to make you feel guilty about something you never even done. Am I right? You're being tortured and tormented by this, trying to, at times you have tried to prove yourself right. God said, I'm your vindicator. God is vindicating you right now. God wants you to be quiet and be still. And being still means to keep walking, keep doing the things that God has called you to do. But to no longer try to amend, uh, to try to vindicate yourself, but to keep doing the things that God is calling you into, your purpose. The enemy is trying to distract you from your purpose, so he'll try to manipulate you to make you think that you did these things wrong when you did nothing wrong at all. You can, you, your slate is wiped clean. You did nothing, absolutely nothing wrong at all. And you have been feeling guilty. You no longer need to feel guilty anymore. And it says Romans 5 and 1, it says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Been justified, you've been cleansed by the blood of, by the blood of Jesus you have nothing to hold your head down about. And these people, the enemy is not th the people. We don't wrestle against flesh, but it's, we don't wrestle against flesh, but we wrestle against principali principalities and dark things and heavenly high places. So the thing is, is that it's not those people, but Satan is uh, behind the whole scheme. But you don't need to worry about it anymore. Just keep doing what God called you to do. And I need you to do one thing for me. I need you to share this video so that others, others in this season have been accused by things that they have not done. And it's tormenting them in their minds. But I want you to know today that whatever the enemy is doing, that it will break off of you in the name of Jesus. The assignment that the enemy is trying to come up on your life. May the coals go back on the enemy's head. May it burn the enemy down. To the ground, his plan and his plots. May it drown every single Pharaoh in the Red Sea that is trying to pursue, pursue you. May it drown them in the name of Jesus right now. And let every single attack, let it boomerang back to the enemy's camp right now in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Be blessed to the Lord. Continue to keep walking and going. You haven't done anything and God will prove your innocence. You need not to. God is saying move forward. God bless you. Be blessed.